The governorship and state assembly election has ended in Lagos, an announcement being expected. Our correspondent Ikechuku Obienu, who monitored the exercise in Suru Lyric Constituency 1, reports that the exercise was free and fair. We arrived at polling unit 014 Suru Lyric Constituency 1 as early as 8.30 a.m. This is where the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamela, is expected to cast his ballot. Unlike the delay witnessed in the arrival of INEX sensitive materials during the presidential election, the officials were already on ground. Not too long, the Speaker emerged, did his accreditation, and cast his vote. He noted that the process has been free and fair. So, from what I've heard and what I've seen, um INEC has upped its game. Um, there's been a lot of improvement in terms of um, preparedness by the commission. Um, I believe materials came early, the staff came early. Um, accreditation has gone well fairly, Vivas has worked fairly practically everywhere from my understanding. This is polling unit 023 uh, Surulere constituency 1 and the Minister of uh, Works as well uh, Babatunde Fashola is expected to cast his vote here. The Minister of Works Babatunde Fashola eventually arrived about 11.30 a.m. and the process took him a few minutes to accomplish. He noted that there were noticeable improvements in the process. The process of voting today for me, my experience is that it was quicker. So that clearly shows that there has been some experience gained over two cycles of election. And I can also point out that the long queues that we had um, in the last exercise on the 25th of February are not here in my polling station. Voters who were part of the exercise also shared their views. The election process has been very swift. People are orderly. There's no problem. Everybody votes peacefully. And the INET officials, they perform very well this time around. The previous election, we had so much crowd that people came out to vote, but for today, the turn-up is really, really low. Ikechuku Obieno, TVC News.